Good morning. How are you? Okay, as you see here, my name is Teacher Alex. Uh, I'm a teacher at National Bay Complex College, and uh, I'm going to be teaching the class of physics. So, the subject you're going to be learning is in mathematics. Mathematics. Yes. Do you like mathematics? Mathematics is a good subject because it helps us in our daily life. Without knowing mathematics, actually, you can't be a good person. So that's why I would like everyone to participate, to be active in this lesson you are going to be learning. Okay, thank you very much. Take a look here. What is this? Yes, this is an orange. This is an orange. How many orangs? How many orangs do I have here? Yes, I have four orangs. I have four orangs. What are these? These are pens. These are pens. How many are they? They are four. How many pens do I have here? I have one. What are these? These are pieces of chalk. How many are they? They are two. I have two pieces of chalk. Yes. I would like to ask you one question. What are these? Four, four, one, two. What are these? These are numbers. set from negative infinity to positive infinity. We have negative 1, negative 2, 0, positive 2, positive 1. All those are different numbers. We have many different numbers. Can you please try to think any number of your choice? Are you thinking? Yes. Let me guess. Maybe you might have got zero, one, two, three. Me, I thought five. Five is a number. I thought five. So you, all of you, you have thought different numbers. Can you please? Try to represent all those different numbers you have thought by any letter. Ah. Me, I have thought five. Let me assign this five by a letter Y. I assign this number five by a letter Y. What can 
comes to your mind when you are assigning <coughs> numbers with letters? Who can tell me? Yes. This is what we call algebra. Ah, algebra. 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 What is algebra? What is algebra? When someone says algebra, what comes to your mind? Algebra is a branch of mathematics which deals with representing numbers by letters or any symbol that is algebra. But when we are now dealing with those letters with operations, almost no different operations, we have four arithmetic operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So when it comes to the addition of those different letters that is called it, that is called it, that is called it, yes, algebraic expression, algebraic expression, let me repeat again, algebraic expression, today's lesson, today's lesson is algebraic expressions, algebraic expressions. Dear students, by the end of this lesson, every learner will be able to write different algebraic expressions to write and simplify different algebraic expressions. Okay. Think a number. Think a number. Think a number. Have you thought a number? Add two. Add two. This is an algebraic statement. This is an algebraic one problems. Who can actually write this algebraic statement to algebraic notations? Think a number. This number can be represented by any letter. Any letter. As well, we know different letters. There are many different letters. Who can you give me an example of any letter that you know? Letter A, B, C, D, E. There are so many different letters. Letters. This number that you have put, it might be A. Let's say, let's, that number B. We represent that number you have thought by letter A. So to express this statement, think a number, add two. So the result will be the solution. Since we have thought that number as A, means that our solution will be A. Think a number, the number that we have thought is A. Add. Add is an operation. Add two. So this is now our algebraic expression. So what is algebraic expression? What is algebraic expression? What comes to your mind when someone says algebraic expression? 
algebraic expression algebraic algebraic expression Yes, okay. 
stand up, stand up, stand up and they show you something you are going to do. Do you know how to jump? You know how to jump? Jump twice and I see. Uh, okay, let me do it and just you are going to imitate me. One, two. I jumped how many times? I jumped it twice. Twice. So, twice. Let's take another example, number B. Twice. A variable Y. Plus four. Who can write this algebraic expression? This can be written. This can be written like this. Twice means it. When I was jumping twice, I jumped how many times? It? Two times, it means twice y, it means it is two times y plus four. So which is equal to two times y, it is you can be written like this, two y plus four. So let's take another example. Here you have seen at and plus. Hmm? So let's take another example. Increase. Increase M by 5. Whenever you see the word increase, make sure that you have to add. Here the solution will be M plus Five. I think this is clear. So even here, whenever you see the word sum, make sure that you will add. Even when you see more. Let's come here to the subtraction. Subtraction. When you are reading the algebraic word statement, you need to interpret the word which are there, which are there in that problem. When we see subtract, you have to subtract, reduce, difference, take away, decrease, and less. Make attention whenever you see these words. Let me just take an example here because most of the students have the problem here on take away. Or subtract. Let's take an example here. D. Subtract. Subtract. Five. From. Y. Subtract. Five. From. Y. Can you try this? So, here many students take a y, take a five and then they subtract y, which is wrong, no? So, the best solution, the real solution here, it is subtract five from y. Subtract five from y. The answer is y minus five. It is not 5 minus y because it is subtract 5 from y. So let's come here to the terms which relate to multiplication. Here we have multiply product times. So whenever you see these words in the statement algebraic statements please make sure that you will multiply so let's take an example here e the product the product 
of the book five and y add to b what is the solution here you can write these expressions to write this expression you see it is the product of five and y add e to b so the, the answer here is the product of 5 and y. It means that you have to multiply 5 to y and then we add it to b. So simply we'll be having 5 times y plus add, add b. So will be having 5y plus plus b is it clear yes what about the division what about the division what about the division so here on division there are the words also to keep in mind like divide share, distribute, average, quotient. So whenever you are told to divide, huh? whenever you are told to divide, whenever you are given the statement where you will need to divide, you have to, to divide. Or whenever you have to share, you have to share. You, you have to use this symbol. This symbol of division. Whenever you see the word share, distribute, average. Let's take an example. Can you take an example of uh, divide? Yes. Divide. Example F Divide M by 4 We can express this statement in algebraic notation like this M We divide it by 4 is this clear? Is this clear? Yes. So, as I have said, algebraic expressions are mathematical expressions which consist of variables, operations, and numbers. Variables, operation, numbers. Number, variable, operation, numbers. Variable, operation, numbers. Variable, operation, numbers. So, algebraic. So, by the end of this lesson, as I have said, everyone has to read carefully the statement, try to interpret the correct operations. Try to see the correct operation you are going to use. Read carefully the statement, interpret it, and use the correct operation using these terms I have just given you. Is it understandable? Okay. Let's try to have exercise. Exercise Number one Find The perimeter Of 
rectangle whose width is x and length is what find the perimeter of a rectangle whose width is x and length is y i repeat find the perimeter of the rectangle whose width is x and the length is y can you try yes let's bring it together solution here you see this is a geometry we have here given given we are given width width is equal to x we also have length length is equal to y what are you asking? We are asking to calculate the perimeter. Ask it. We are asking to calculate the perimeter. The perimeter. How can we, how do we calculate the perimeter of just like found? Formula and calculation. Formula and calculation. Calculation. How do we calculate the perimeter of a rectangle? The perimeter of a rectangle is calculated by taking length plus width times 2. So therefore, the perimeter will be equal to the length is equal to y plus the width is equal to x times 2. So, who will get? This two has to multiply here on y. Then we get two times y is equal to two y plus. Also, this two has to multiply on x, and we get two x. Thus, the perimeter of our rectangle is equal to 2y plus 2x. Therefore, therefore, the perimeter, the perimeter of, of the rectangle, of our rectangle, of our rectangle is equal to what? It is equal to 2y plus 2x. The perimeter, therefore, the perimeter of a rectangle is 2y. plus 2x let's do one one more exercise the second second exercise right um twice x plus thrice You can express this in the form of algebraic notation. How? Twice means two times. Twice the solution is two times x twice x plus, as I have told you, the words to keep in mind, plus thrice. Three times 
times n times you can, you can either put just the symbol of multiplication or not times e, m when i don't put here the sign of multiplication simply it means that there, there, there is multiplication sign 3 times m therefore when we express our algebraic statements through algebraic notation it can be just written like this 2x plus 3m so my dearest friends i have i have said algebraic expressions so all mathematical expressions that consist of numbers variables and the operations whenever you see why are they called the variables the variables the variables this x is called the variables because it can change it can have the value any value it can be assigned as one two three or any other number so it is simply called the variable variable this is a variable and this is a variable so let me give you the homework homework it is only one question home you're going to do so anyway i think everyone has understood this is there any question i think the the lesson is well delivered you have understood so we have actually even planned for you the other activity that will be sent to you so that you have to do Try to do it well according to how I have explained. When you are actually reading the algebraic words problem, please try to respect these things that I have told you. Try to read the problems well, try to interpret and see the correct operation to use. Don't hesitate to ask your parents or don't hesitate to ask even me the query that you will need. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. See you.